Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome. Okay, welcome to the video conference. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, guys. Um, well, I'm just seeing here that uh, there are just two, just six people connected. I hope that the rest of your classmates can join to the video conference. Um, video conference today, uh, I mean tonight. Uh, guys, um, I, I just want to ask you, because I left for an activity uh, the last day, well, it was on Monday, I guess, uh, and it was about uh, uh, searching information um, about country, uh, and it's supposed that you were going to share here in the video conference information. Um, yesterday we did some, uh, it, well, we developed some uh, of the country. So we, I mean, uh, we uh, give some information regarding to um, some countries, but I, I would like to know if there is anyone else here who wants to share with us and practice your English. I don't know if anyone else did. The homework. Mm -hmm. Hello, Maximo. Hi, hey, teacher. Good okay. Evening. Uh, mm -hmm. Good evening, sir. Okay. Mm, Greece is a country in southeastern. Europe with thousands of islands in the Asian and Lonian Seas. Mm -hmm. It was influential in ancient times and it often called the cradle of the Western civil civilization. Hence, its capital preserves emblematic monuments such, such as the citadel of the Acropolis from the fifth century BC with the Parthenon temple. Greece is also famous for its beaches from the black sand of Santorini to the tourist, tourist even center in Mykonos. Okay, only. That's all, okay, good, good. Excellent, thank you for sharing that information with us, Maximo. Okay, you did um, excellent uh, homework, searching information for guaranteed degrees, okay? Um, good, uh, anyone else who wants to participate, practice uh, your English? English, I mean. Anyone else who wants to participate? Um, Okay, welcome to, to the ones that are connecting right now. Welcome. Uh, well, what, what we are doing right now is just uh, giving the opportunity you know, to practice your English. You remember uh, a month that I left uh, an activity that was a, it was about um, searching information about a country and providing uh, the information here or share the information here in the, in the video conference. So um, uh, if there's any, anyone else here who wants to share that information, we are going to move on. Um, yesterday, I was just mentioning that we are going to be working on the midterm, uh, if you remember. So um, we already complete section number one, two, and three, and uh, it's time for the midterm. We are going to be uh, discussing, working on the midterm. It's going to be a collaborative uh, activity. And after that, after completing the midterm, if you did, it's okay, don't worry. We are going just to review some information. Uh, but in, is, if you want to, um, it, well, if you haven't complete that uh, activity yet, so this is an opportunity you, you're going to have in order to be completing all uh, the exercises that we're going to see uh, today, to, I mean, tonight. And also guys, uh, well, at the end of this activity, we're going to have a conversation. 
and this activity is going to be in pairs, but I, but I will let you know and I will give you the rest of the information um, after uh, reviewing all the information regarding today, meter. Okay. Um, just let me log into my account of English Corporative and let me share my screen to you. Okay, guys, um, I want you to participate on the exercises that we're going to be reviewing um, uh, tonight. Um, it, this, is, this information is just related to the section number one and um, the section number two and also section number three. I guess yeah, I'm having some problems here. Just let me check what's going on. Okay, here we have midterm. Uh, well, if you see uh, in this part, it is composed by uh, five different uh, activities. Um, each literal had a specific purpose and also had some instruction for each one. Uh, for instance, in the letter A, um, the activity is going to be about circle the words. Uh, the writing in section B, in section C, it's going to be a listening part. Section D, it's going to be a reading and the section A, it's going to be a matching. We're going to start with section A, and the, the ones that it says are called words. And um, the instruction for each one, it says, um, read the sentences and choose the correct part of the two-part verb missing. Okay, there you have the Spanish translation. In order to see what does it mean, uh, or what do we have in the instruction in this case. Um, if we have the first sentence, just take a look of, uh, of the sentence, it says, Please clean, we have a blank space there, and also veteran uh, period, it's really a mess. Okay, um, do, you remember, do you remember this topic? Do you remember the name of this topic? Mm -hmm. Phrasal verbs. verbs, yes, correct. Phrasal verbs. Okay, um, well, just taking a review about phrasal verbs, um, do you remember how we form a phrasal verb? For instance, I ah, will be pointing you. Uh, let me see, Oscar Melendez. Do you know how we form phrasal verbs? Oscar Melendez? Do you know how we form phrasal verbs? Anyone here knows the answer? How do we form phrasal verbs? Up, clip, please clean up. Yeah, that's an example of a phrasal verb, but how do we form phrasal verbs? You remember that? A verb plus particle. Yes, a verb plus a particle. And, and we we'll say particle, this, will, uh, this could be um, a verb plus an adjective, pl a verb plus um, an adverb, okay? Um, but also, um, yeah, it's adjective, verb, and adverb, okay? Good. So um, also, if you remember, well, we mentioned this, uh, what is the characteristic about phrasal verbs? One of the characteristics of phrasal verbs, do you remember that? It has to be with the meaning. It's different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> correct. Yes. Usually, uh, we use phrasal words. Uh, the meaning is going to be so different from one one. Uh, uh, well, it's going to be so different from the idea I want to share with someone else. 
Okay, also we mentioned um, something else about phrasal verb. And, and we say th these kind of phrasal verbs are for formal or informal English. Do you remember that? Informal English. Informal English, usually spoken English. Okay, very good. So we know that information, good. So let's complete this one, this exercise. Uh, what is the correct um, complement for the this for this? I mean, phrase over. Please clean off, up, on the bedroom. It's really a mess. Do you remember the the meaning? Clean up. Clean up. Okay. What is the meaning for clean up? Recoger. <laughs> Recoger, okay. Please clean up the, the bathroom. It's really a mess. Okay, or uh, we can use like a, a synonym of cleaning instead of saying, well, in this case, instead of saying cleaning, can you say phrasal word? It's going to have the same meaning too. Uh, number two, put over, put off, or put away. Take put out the way. Put away, okay. Put away, um, good. Wanna check that the, the information later. I wanna see if it is correct or not. Um, let's move on to the uh, sentence number three. Can you turn down, out, on the TV while I'm on the phone? Down. Turn down. Down. Down, down. good, good. Um, part two. Okay, in this part, what we have to do is just read the sentences and choose between an infinitive and a, a gerund. <clears throat> do you remember the, uh, the class of all infinitive and gerunds? What is an infinitive? What is a gerund? Let's see, um, um, let me, yeah. Carla, Carla? When we use two for two. infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, when we use the preposition to um, plus the verb in the base form, all verbs uh, with two are going to be, uh, well, in this case, if we use Spanish as a translation, so it's going to be um, in the, in without time, okay? Uh, los verbos, Este, que no tienen un tiempo específico, ¿sí? Las infinitives. Um, then, let's talk about gerunds. What are gerunds? A noun. Gerunds are nouns. That's correct. Gerunds are nouns. How do you form gerunds? Miley, how do we form gerunds? Adding the ing. Okay, the ing. But what else? What what do we need <clears throat> in order to form the gerunds? I'm sorry, sorry again. Um, what do we need in order to form a gerund? So we, we need the ing form, but we need something else at the beginning. Uh, for example, um, if we are using a verb. And yes. we can, um, we can, for example, in this, if the microwave ovens are used, um, it, it, the, the, the form will be for cooking. And we are using the, 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 the this is, it's not a part, particle, right? For is, what is that? Is, I don't know, but just if we are using for or if we are using by, we have to add uh, ing because mm -hmm. the verb uh, is going to be changed just if we add mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. All, all, all those words are called preposition of place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the, 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 the word that I wanted to tell you, the preposition <laughs> okay. for. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The prepositions. Um, well, in this case, um, it just uh, uh, summarize, right? Um, about what how we form gerunds. Gerunds are formed uh, using a verb plus the ing. 
Okay? And the gerunds are used as nouns. That's it. Okay? Uh, let's take a look at this exercise and want to identify if we're going to use an infinitive or a gerund. Uh, let's start with the sentence number one. It says, microwaves to oven are used food very fast. To cooking, for cooking, or to cook? For cooking. For cooking. Okay, for cooking. Let's see the number two. Would you go to the beach, try... No to get, to don't get, not getting. They come quarter with, wet, I mean. Not to get. Not to get. Now to get, okay, good. Um, number three, uh, you can use my cell phone. Living for leave, to leave avoids me. To, to leave. To leave. Okay, to leave, excellent. Number four, don't forget for taking, taking or to take your ATM card with you. To take, to take, to take. To take your ATM card with you. Good, excellent. Let's see, let's just check the information. Okay, good, so all dents are correct. Take not if you haven't completed this exercise, okay? Um, section V, that's going to be rewriting. It, rewriting, well, in this, in this case, we have the instruction. It says, um, rewrite a sentence, use the correct form of the words given. Uh, remember to add a question mark at the end of your request. Okay, there we have the Spanish translation, if you want to read. Okay, so um, basically, that's what we're going to do. Just rewrite the sentences. Uh, when I use... Um, the correct form, uh, as it says here, eh, from words given, uh, could you, would you, would you mind, can you, uh, could you, do you remember who are these words called? Do you remember what are these words? Uh, what is the name of, of all the groups of these words? Model verbs. Model verbs, yes. Okay, yes, good. Model verbs. Uh, what are the uses of model verbs, uh, Alicia? Do you remember the uses of the model verbs? It's for give an order, but more uh, more um, polite. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, correct. It's in order to be more polite when we are going to um, request something. Okay, um, or request for something. I mean. Let's start with the sentence number one. Uh, close the door, please. Okay. Instead of using that imperative sentence, uh, what is going to be or um, or sentence being more polite? I'm going to activate. Um, let me just check here. Let me see if it is possible or not. Uh, okay. Let me activate the annotate. I want you to write here. Um, the correct sentence. Use the annotate. Uh, have you ever used the annotate before? ¿Han alguna vez utilizado ustedes el, el annotate? Este, la herramienta de Zoom para, para escribir en, en pantalla. No. Bueno, vamos, eh, no sé si les aparecerá a ustedes este, de esta manera. En la parte superior hay como una, eh, como un botón verde. Este, eh, lástima que no puedo mostrarlo. Que dice, este, la pantalla se está compartiendo, algo así. No sé si alguien me, me, me confirma si realmente dice así. Es en la parte superior de la pantalla. Compartir pantalla. Arriba, aparece un, un botón que dice compartir pantalla. Sí. Así dice. Compartir contenido. 
Ah, con Ajá. Ah, hmm. Y no les aparece un botón de opciones. Y dentro de esas opciones, este, un apartado que dice Annotate. Yes, teacher. Bye. Hagamos algo. Bye. A alguien ya le aparece. José Luis ya lo tiene, creo. ¿Los demás? ¿Lo lograron encontrar? No. No, no, no Hagamos algo en este. Yes, teacher. Es en opciones de vista. Ah, en la opciones parte de, de vista. arriba. Le dan opciones de vista y ahí está la pestañita para que tenga la opción. Vale, excelente. Vale, una vez este, ya lleguemos a, a esa opción, opciones de vista, este, no, nos dice ahí el compañero, hay un botón que, di, que se llama Annotate. Eh, y les va a aparecer a ustedes una, una banda con diferentes herramientas. Este, una es eh, mouse, de selección, de texto, de dibujo de estampas, este, de spotlight, para resaltar, para borrar el color de letra, este, para corregir, eh, rebobinar, limpiar. Creo que esas son las opciones que aparecen ahí. Necesito que ustedes utilicen, vale, de, ya que vemos, hemos visto esa, esa, esa parte, este, necesito que ustedes utilicen el botón de texto. Eh, ahí les va a aparecer a ustedes un cuadrito. Le dan clic a la T, donde dice texto, y luego dan clic en la pantalla y les va a aparecer un cuadrito. Necesito que escriban este, en, desde su computadora o dispositivo eh, la oración correcta para, en este caso, la número uno. Si están desde el teléfono, no estoy seguro si, si se les va a activar la la opción por este si alguien pregunta no no, no estoy seguro si, si está de ahí. teléfono no se puede ajá, que no se puede ajá, no. ¿Ah? solamente solo un rayón me salió ahí <ríe> que yo pensé que estaba <ríe> ah <ríe> ok veamos José Luis ya nos, nos, nos comparte por aquí mira. dice could you please close the door uh, I mean could you close the door please ok could you close the door please excelente muy bien ¿Los demás? Ya tenemos, ya tenemos la, la, la primera este, oración. Veamos la número dos. Este, in, eh, dígame, este, Máximo. Oh, ¿Está por ahí? ¿Máximo? Yes, teacher. Dígame un número del 1 al 18. 18. 18. Vamos a ver. Eh, Maylin, usted es la última, según el listado que yo tengo. Perdón que estaba teniendo problemas con el audio, pero ahorita sí. Vale. En la quinta, ¿verdad? Estamos en la número dos. Ah, bueno, alguien ya completó la número dos. Fue José Luis también. Este, eh, la número tres. Eh, escriba la número tres, Maylin. No, no la puedo escribir porque no, no, no. puedo, estoy del teléfono, ajá, pero... Vale, entonces, denos la respuesta. Uh, would you mind, don't sit there? Uh -huh. Ok, good. Um, let's see, uh, the number four. Vamos a ver. Maylin, dígame un número del 1 al 18. Um, siete. Siete. El número siete es... Brian Ariel Hernández Navas. Brian, ¿está por ahí? Creo que no está. Pasemos sí, con el otro. Entonces... Okay. Hola, ¿cuál? ¿Qué número dijo? El 13. El tro, el 3. <risa> eh, Juan eh, Cruz. Juan. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Hola, hola. Ok, ahorita. Eh... El número 4. Um, can you please... 
take the car out. Okay, good. Excellent. Want to check that the options later because there are uh, more than one option. Um, dígame un número del 1 al 18. Me... 9. 9. Eh... Carla. Manzanares. Okay. Número 5. Oración número 5. Okay. Okay. Could you repeat that, please? Okay, could you repeat that, please? Good. Y este, ¿qué más? Un segundo. Esa es la última, ¿verdad? Ah, estamos bien. Vale, excelente. Más adelante vamos a seguir utilizando el anote y si gustan pueden cerrarlo de momento. Este, y vamos a continuar. Vean, ah, solo quiero mostrarles las opciones. Miren, este, aquí tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, la número uno, nosotros podemos utilizar, en este caso, could you close the door, please? En la número dos, tenemos dos opciones. Podemos decir nosotros, would you please take, the, take out the car, the, I mean, would you please take out the garbage? O podemos utilizar nosotros la opción, would you please take the garbage out? But options are uh, correct. Okay. The number three, would you mind not sitting there? The number four, can you please take the cat out? And the number five, we can use. Um, could you repeat that, please? Or could you repeat that, please? But options are correct. Okay. So uh, there we have the options uh, for section V. Uh, let's listen the audio in section number C. Um, we're going to listen, to, I mean, read the instructions first. It says, uh, listen to the conversations. There are more than one conversation here. Um, here, I mean, and then we're going to correct the answers for each one, for each sentence here. Um, basically, what we have to do here is just complement uh, the first sentence with the second one, okay? Uh, there are just four exercises and uh, pay attention because there is a conversation. There is uh, more than one conversation, okay? Okay, I'm going to play this audio right now. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So, he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here, be sure to put it face down, and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, 
and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. There we have wood conversation related to this um, activity. Let's um, just take a look uh, to the sentence now in order to complete each one, okay? Uh, number one, uh, what does Stephanie say to Richard? A geek. A geek. A geek. Okay. Do you want? Do you know the meaning of geek? Um, una persona freaky, no sé, algo así. Yeah, yeah, something like that, right? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Um, number two. Uh, it says very ask Marta how to play computer scan games. Can scan photographs. Uh, okay, scan photographs. Okay, the last option was surf the internet. Good. The option B is the correct one. Uh, number three, according to Eva, her roommates use her computer a lot. Her roommates use her computer a lot. Okay, I'm gonna check that later. And the last one. Okay. Peter shows Carlos uh, how to use his new computer to cut and paste, drag and drop, or highlight text. Highlight text. Highlight text. Good. Excellent. Well, let's just check. Um, there you have 20 points uh, uh, that we're going to add to the mid turn to you. Uh, we're going to move to section D. This is going to be a reading, and I will need your help in order to read uh, this text okay so there you have the um the, the sentences the, i mean the questions for uh, that, that we're going to um have for this text uh for each one we have three different options um to the the, the the question number four okay so uh we're gonna read the questions first and then we're going to read the the text okay uh, send the, I mean, question number one, it says, how did the teens respond to the neighbor request? Number one. Uh, number two, what happened as the, tr as the tree was being chopped down? Okay. Number three, what is the problem with the dogs? And number four, what was Sally, I mean, what was Sally's advice? Let's take a look to the test. <clears throat> Okay, let, let's take a look at uh, this test, uh, text, I mean, uh, and I want someone to read um, the, all the information here. Any volunteer who wants to participate? Okay, Jose. You're Sally. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, me escucha, me escucha. Yes. Okay. We live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other and we all get along pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in and now we have some problems. The families, two teenagers, play their music really loudly. When we Hold it like, ask it, would you mind turning the music down? They just look it at us. Next, the family destroyed a beautiful tree. I hated to see them cut it down. I ran out and showed it. Could you please leave the tree alone? But but they chopped it down anyway. They also have dogs that bark loudly all day. We've said many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some sleep, but they want to do it. We don't know what to do anymore. How can we all get along? 
slowly losing our minds. Continue. Okay, now stop there. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, well, I, I just want uh, another volunteer who wants to read the second paragraph. It's going to be short. Message. Okay, Miguel, go ahead. The families to Tenagir's play their music really loudly. When we pol politically ask it, uh, what do you mean? Pardon? My apologies for interrupting you. Um, I mean, uh, when I when I said um, the second paragraph, uh, I mean the, the ones that is here next to the first one. Okay. Uh, dear slowly. Pardon. Okay. Okay, dear, dear slowly. Uh, you have made poly requests with no results. The next time you hear loud music or barking dogs, call your local police that should solve those problems. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the tree. Tree to stay for it and let the police take care of your neighbors, Sell. Okay, okay, good. Just, uh, Miguel, um, just repeat this word, polite. Polite. Police. Police. Okay, good. Uh, that's all, very good. Thank you so much for sharing uh, and for reading, I mean, this text, okay? Uh, we're going to now complete the exercise um, that corresponds to this uh, text, okay? So I'm going to be asking you, um, how did the teens respond to the neighbor request? They okay. didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. Okay, good. Uh, number two. What happened as the tree was being chopped down? The new family continued to cut it down. Okay, the new family continued to cut it down. Good. Number three. What is the problem with the ducks? They are outside working all the time. They are outside working all the time, yes. That's correct. Number four, what was Sally's advice? I mean, what was Sally's advice? Let the police solve the problem. The police. Okay, let the police solve the problems. Let the police solve the problems. Good, let's just take a look of, of this. Wanna check? Yes, all then are correct. Okay, guys, um, let me just move on to the last exercise. It's going to be in matching. It's going to be uh, a little bit easy uh, for you because we have just related the, the sentence with uh, the complement here. Um, instructions, match the phrases with the most appropriate information, okay? Uh, then we have page one for options and we had four different exercises. Uh, number one, uh, it says, before John, men, and woman speak, comma, what is the complement? They might chat with each other on the internet. Okay, they may chat with each other on the internet. Okay, good, internet. Um, number two, before they meet for the first time, they usually call on the telephone. Good. Number three, when they have their first date, they often meet in a public place, such Good. as a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Such as a coffee shop. Good. And the last one, the number four, after they meet for the first time. They sometimes 
arrange another date. They sometimes arrange another date. Good. Well, there we have all the computers. You remember this topic? Do you remember this topic? Recuerdan el tema? The wedding? No. The wedding. Oh, yeah. So it has to be something like like, like uh, we discuss there, but um, I'm referring to the grammar part. Do you oh. remember what kind of uh, sentence do we have here? ¿Qué tipo de oración tenemos aquí? Recuerda? Sería no indirecta, indirecta. Sí, oraciones, este, uh, bueno, en este caso, eh, si ustedes recuerdan el, el, el último tema, de hecho me voy a mover porque este, así hacemos un pequeño repaso de ello. En la sección número 3, siempre, en el tema de Let's Celebrate, nosotros vamos a encontrar en el 3.7, eh, aquí, acerca de los adverbial clauses of time. Eh, los adverbial clauses, si ustedes recuerdan, este, eh, son uh, dos oraciones que se componen, decíamos, de una oración que era y la otra oración que era dependent and independent. Ok. Uh, uh, dependent and independent sentence. Ok. So, o una oración eh, dependiente y una oración independiente. La oración dependiente generalmente es la oración que nos deja eh, como, digamos, en, en, en suspenso de el resultado que va a tener este, lo que nosotros estamos expresando. ¿Sí recuerdan eso? Que, bueno, por ejemplo, aquí en, en, los, en los ejercicios que tenemos aquí, eh, del 1 al 4, la primera oración en, en cada una de ellas es una oración dependiente, porque no nos da la idea completa de lo que la persona quiere expresar. Solamente, bah, por poner un ejemplo en español, dice, before yo, uh, uh, perdón, en, en español, antes de que este, hable, uh, perdón, sí, antes de que hable un hombre eh, joven y, y una mujer joven, sí, antes de que hable una a mujer joven y un hombre joven, o viceversa, un hombre joven y una mujer joven, ¿sí? Nos deja a nosotros como, ¿qué? Ahí hace falta algo, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? ¿Recuerdan la respuesta? They might chat with each other on the internet. Ok. They may chat with it with I mean they may chat with each other on the internet internet. Okay. So there we have the uh, complement of the sentence. Generalmente, cuando nosotros tenemos una oración que nos deja como en suspenso, nosotros debemos complementarla con una oración independiente. La oración independiente por sí sola, decíamos, es ya tiene significado. Ya, ya. Este, nos da la idea completa, ¿sí? Y nosotros la podemos utilizar sola, la oración independiente, porque nos da un mensaje directo. Ahora, la oración dependiente, no, sí cumple con todos los elementos, pero no termina de expresar lo que este, nosotros queremos uh, decir, informar en sí, ¿verdad? Bien. Aquí tenemos prácticamente este, ya resuelto lo que es el midterm. We are going to move, uh, to move on. And we are going to uh, work in a conversation. And this is going to be in pairs because um, I like you to practice your English. And uh, in this case, uh, we're going to create a conversation. But uh, today I will give you um, on a specific topic in order to create that conversation, okay? Um, and you're going to have guess six minutes in order to work on it and probably we're not yeah probably we're not going to uh complete with all the participations today but 
we're going to do it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yeah. Yes, we're going to complete um, the participations tomorrow. Each of you has to, each player has to participate. Um, so, but we're going to work on that conversation today. Topic for the conversation is going to be uh, the travels, okay? So that's going to be the, the purpose of the conversation. I'm going to switch to Spanish right now. Uh, vamos a crear una este, conversación donde el tema este, que nosotros vamos a tocar en esa conversación es viajes, ¿sí? Eh, este, ustedes pueden, eh, si gustan, para que este, tengan más libertad de, de creatividad, eh, pueden inventarse este, toda la historia referente a la conversación. O sea, como no, no hablen este, solamente tal vez de experiencias eh, suyas, pueden hablar este, de experiencias ficticias eh, y, y expresar ideas que tal vez este, eh, ustedes eh, consideren se puedan vivir en un país haciendo X viaje. No sé si me voy a entender, creo que me estoy enredando. La idea es crear una conversación donde el tema sea viajes. ¿okay? Eh, nosotros podemos inventar la información y compartir nuestra experiencia pero estas experiencias pueden ser reales o no. ¿Sí? ¿Sí me voy a entender ahora? Yes. Sí, yes, va. Yes. va a ser en parejas. Yo voy a crear las parejas. Bueno, no las voy a crear yo, de hecho. Este, el mismo sistema se encarga de, eh, este, de emparejarlos de forma automática. Así que este, voy a hacer eso ahorita. Voy a abrir breakout rooms. Y si alguien no tiene pareja, por favor... Eh, utiliza la opción de, de, de solicitar ayuda. Por ahí aparece un botón, creo que es como una especie de, de, de un signo de interrogación, si no me equivoco. No, no, no recuerdo si en Zoom es el que está ese signo de interrogación para llamarme. Eh, a mí me cae la notificación, yo voy a ingresar y si no tiene parejas o si su pareja no ha ingresado, este, vamos a emparejarlo con alguien más, pero eso ya sería de forma manual. De momento, ahorita lo que estoy haciendo es creando este, las parejas de forma automática. Les va, van a recibir una notificación. Les pido que por favor este, eh, acepten eh, la solicitud para unirse al breakout room. Y que de esa manera pues, podamos, eh, podamos ya ir trabajando en esa conversación. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Bien. Eh, si de casualidad, porque esto el sistema lo, lo mide de esa manera, si de casualidad este, hay eh, un equipo que sea de tres personas eh, o que en una sala hayan tres personas, esa conversación la van, a, la van a adaptar para tres personas, ¿de acuerdo? Y que todos tengan la misma participación, no solamente que diga, este, hola, te presento a X persona y ya las otras personas empiezan a hablar. No, 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 no lo hagamos así, sino que... Este, tengan uh, la misma cantidad de, de, de información a compartir, ¿ok? En la conversación, por supuesto. Bien, voy a crear ahorita los breakout rooms. Por favor, acepten las invitaciones. Muy bien, Teacher, veo por aquí. Hola. I have a question. Okay, Victoria, go ahead. Come. Eh, eh, usted va a dar, usted dio algún ejemplo de con eso nosotros debemos de hacer ya la... Ustedes deben hacer la conversación. Yo no les he dado de ah. Sí. Ah, ok. Thank you. Muy bien. Ah, veo que está por aquí Erika, Emperatriz. Confírmame si, si, si me escuchas. Yes, teacher. Bueno. Sí, sí. sí bueno, correcto. Entonces estamos bien. Aquí van a van a este, haber tres miembros. Ustedes son el equipo número uno. Recuerden, me voy a mover en ese momento. Ok. 
tercera persona. ¿Hola? Hola. Yes. Ok, este, veo que está por aquí Carla, Máximo y José Luis. Sí. Eh, los tres están activos, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, yes. Vaya, excelente. Ustedes son el equipo número dos. Solamente estoy confirmando, ¿verdad? Que todos estén, este, que todos los, los, los breakout trunks estén completos. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Me voy a mover en ese momento. Hola, eh, tengo por aquí a Juan y a Oscar. Ambos están este, eh, activos. Sí, sí. Juan, sí, Oscar también. Bye. Ustedes son el equipo número tres. Okay. Eh, ahorita solamente estoy verificando que estemos completos, ¿de acuerdo? Este, así que pueden comenzar con su conversación. ¿Preguntas de momento? Okay. Eh, sí, teacher, solamente yo le comentaba a Oscar que eh, cuando yo iba para Nicaragua hace un par de años tuve un inconveniente, que me chequeó migración y ahí me detuvieron. Algo bien chistoso, pues, porque fue algo que viví, pues, ¿verdad? entonces, sí. este, no sé si en base a eso podemos hablar. Por supuesto que, que sí, Pero claro que sí. Esto es creatividad vuestra, ¿sí? Este, no, no se preocupen. Eh, okay. Ustedes pueden crear la conversación como ustedes quieran. Esto es, para, esto es para ir armando ahorita y mañana la vamos a desarrollar o hoy mismo. Eh, no, es para que ustedes la vayan armando ahora y mañana la vamos a desarrollar. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias. Okay. Vaya, Oscar, entonces, este, no sé usted qué dice, Oscar. Hola, so este, usted está sola aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Bueno, permítame un momento entonces vamos a mover a, a, a otro aquí mm, Sonia está en la sala 6 no me muestra ninguna sala 6 qué raro bueno, la voy a mover a la sala 4 okay. pero es que no, no, no la puedo visualizar 13, sala 6, sala 4. Brian, sí. ¿está por aquí? Sí. Yes. ¿Con quién estaba trabajando usted? ¿Estaba solo? Sí. Sí, vaya, entonces eh, le he asignado a Sonia para que trabajen. Ustedes son el equipo número cuatro, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, thank you. Muy bien, los dejo. Hola. Okay, sí. Hola. Hola. Hola, Maylin, este, Rosemary. Bien, este, okay. solamente estaba verificando que los grupos estuviesen completos. Eh, están las dos activas, por lo que veo, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Muy bien, entonces, yeah. este, solamente, solamente quería verificar eso. Me okay. voy a mover en ese momento. Ustedes son el equipo, déjenme ver, son sí. el equipo 5, correcto. Muy bien. Vaya, me dijo, how was your trip? ¿Se pronuncia trip? No, trip. 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 Trip, trip. trip con P al final. A uh, México. How was your trip? A México. Uh -huh. eh, ahí entra su parte. Uh -huh. sí. Ponga otra pregunta, porque es que yo lo voy a contar. It was, it was nice. Yo Hacemos decir, it como... was nice. Son las preguntas y luego vamos a contestar así como que a la... Para agarrando. Ajá, sí. Y luego... Bueno. Entonces, sería la primera. Trip Mexico. Yo le voy a contestar. It was nice. Uh, because uh, I, could, I could visit uh, the cenotes. Uh, that, that place, it was amazing because... I went with a, with a tourist guy. Hola.
Hola. Ah, veo aquí a Alicia y a Rodrigo. Este, ¿Ustedes no tenían asignado este, eh, un grupo? ¿Una pareja? No. Rodrigo. ¿Usted no, Alicia? Yo no. Yo no. Vaya, este, permítame un momento. La voy a mover al grupo número cuatro. Este, indíquele a, lo, a los chicos que eh, yo la moví a ese grupo para que la puedan integrar en la conversación. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Alicia? Ok, sí, ok. Hello, teacher. The, the class is Hi, finished teacher. or we are going to follow the class? Uh, no, I'm just going to give some instructions before leaving, okay? Um, okay. Actually, just I'm canceling the breakout room, so I guess in a minute they are going to be back, okay? Um, do you, um, I don't know if you worked in, 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 uh, in the breakout rooms with your uh, partner? Yes, I practice it with my partners. Okay, good, excellent. So that's mean that you have the conversation right now, right? Victoria? It's almost because I have a, the idea, but I don't, I, we don't have the, the conversation very well. Oh, so, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, don't worry, um, because um, the, particip the participations are going to be uh, tomorrow, okay? So that's mean that you have uh, time in order to uh, just polish all, all the details there. Okay, guys, um, I guess everybody, all of you have been joined to the lobby right now. Um, guess everybody's back. Okay, uh, well, guys, uh, time is over. As you see, it is eight with, I mean, nine with three minutes. Uh, and 
Um, well, it's supposed that you had been discussing about things that you're going to be including into your conversation. Probably you had your contact, uh, contacts um, or contact number to, in order to complete it later on. Um, the participation are, are going to be tomorrow. Please be on time tomorrow because we're going to start at eight. Um, well, I hope so we can start at eight if there is some, if there is if, if something, I mean, if everything is going good. So uh, I have to start at eight tomorrow and be ready for the conversations, okay? So um, I don't know if anyone here has any question um, about something related to uh, the platform, to the activity, to the class, so. Not teacher. No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, I will see you tomorrow. And uh, as I said before, right at eight, okay? And right now, this is the end of the class. Okay. So have a nice night, guys, and see you tomorrow. Blessings to all of you. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, blessings. Bye. Good night. Good night, Jose Luis.